What's going on, everyone? Happy Saturday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Saturday edition of the Pandemic Update for Saturday, September 28th, 2024. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily pandemic update on the ongoing COVID pandemic and any other virus that could be a health threat to you. COVID, it's a virus that's been going on since 2020. Some people even had it in late 2019 and probably did not even know it. And here we are in 2024, COVID still thing, as are other viruses, and there's constantly new viruses emerging that we don't know much about. Because, well, we don't bother to do much research into them because we think everything is fine and dandy when everything is really not fine and dandy. At any given point in time, another virus could come and be the next big pandemic. We're going to talk about one of those viruses today that, who knows, maybe at some point it will become a big deal. But, of course, our big focus today will be COVID. And we do have some new numbers and a lot of stuff that we're going to take a look at. So if you're new to my channel... Subscribe to my channel down below, give this video a thumbs up, and of course hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, and leave your comment down below. And I'm sure there will be some comments after today's video when we take a look at something later on. Today's probably going to be closer to about an 18 minute video. I don't think we're going to hit 20 minutes today, but we'll see. All right, starting off today with this from Corona Heads Up. The Netherlands, it seems that Corona has now passed the summer peak. And you can take a look at these levels here on this chart. I'm not actually certain what they're actually charting here. And I tried uh, translating this, and that wasn't helping me either. But anywho, just take a look at the chart. You can see levels of COVID there continue to rise, which is not a good thing. Now, where we do know what's going on, and that is Italy. Italy's COVID numbers and deaths are rising again from September 19th through September uh, 25th. Reported number of cases, 11,164. That's up by 31%. Deaths, 112. That's up by 20%. Positivity rate, 13.1%. That's up by 2.7%. So, yeah, Italy's numbers... They're starting to go up again, and does not say which variant that could be, but XEC is causing some increases in some places around the world. All right, I thought this was interesting. This is on X as well. All of our news stories today are X, and this is from WSBGNL. It says around 5,000 confirmed U.S. COVID deaths in August based on incomplete reporting, and we know this is likely... A huge undercount as the CDC and Biden administration knew transmission was high but made essentially zero effort to warn the public or encourage mitigation. Yeah, you didn't see any briefings from the CDC, HHS, um, the Biden administration. You didn't see anything from them this summer on the ongoing summer surge. You would think after Biden tested positive for COVID earlier in the summer, you would think that would have prompted at least a press conference to say, hey, it's still out there. You need to take precautions. Do what you can to stay safe. Nothing at all. And it's just totally ridiculous, if you ask me. I mean, they should have said at least said something. And you can see here, deaths. You can see, even with incomplete data, there's been a, quite a few deaths. I mean, 5,000. Here we are in 2024 when we were led to believe COVID is now endemic. That's a pretty bad. That's more deaths than flu, especially in the summertime. I mean, were there even 100 flu deaths in a summer month? I don't think so. I would love to see that data. If anyone has that data for uh, flu deaths in the summertime, post it down below or direct message it to me on X at COVID Data Report. Speaking of X, yet again, we're on X. Uh, yesterday, I took this little poll. There is still six hours left. And you know what? I'm going to repost it so maybe get some more votes. And I put, do you think H5N1 has gone human to human? So in other words, pretend this figure is a human. Here's another one. And has it spread human to human? And 90.3% said yes. 9.7% said no. 290 votes so far with six hours left to go and Missouri is kind of the reason why I did this 
because we do know that there have been some sickness there with no contact to farm animals and now other people who have been around that person are starting to get sick as well so this is uh certainly um getting interesting and someone said here in isolated instance but not all h5n1 if it were they wouldn't be able to hide 70 percent mortality rate and that's true with all the human cases in the united states i have not heard of any deaths uh, so far so this is uh something we're going to continue to watch and at any given point in time one of these viruses whether it be h5n1 something else or a lot of different bird flu viruses or something else could reach pandemic levels uh, let's hope that does not happen and speaking of the current situation it says here national flu surveillance since the 25th of uh, february 2024 and it says here specimens tested 49,000 specimens tested that would have detected influenza a h5 or novel influenza viruses targeted h5 surveillance since march 24th 2024 total people monitored 4900 that's quite a few after uh, exposure to animals total people tested 230 plus and human cases 14 cases on this site i don't know if this is a hundred percent up to date but uh yeah they've tested quite a few people so thankfully so far out of 4900 exposures we've only come out to about 14 cases and who knows there could have been other people who have been ill and they didn't report the symptoms and it was too late to be tested or they just never got tested but um so far only 14 cases of h5n1 in the united states but hey let's keep this in mind h5n1 definitely is a threat to humans whether it be now or somewhere down the line so it's something we have to keep watching the uk this week as stated did have a increase for covid likely because of the xec variant that's what at least what i'm reading in the uk news stories they're saying the xec variant is causing this and 2213 cases that's up by 530 taking a look now at the national pollen outlook and this is actually a not bad 26 percent of the country is in low to medium status you can see here red texas is not even seen as much red now oklahoma arkansas Louisiana and portions of Mississippi, Mississippi, are seeing some red still. Let's take a look at what's going on with air quality levels in the United States. And you're going to see here, not terrible, but there are some places that are dealing with problems. There are some yellow areas in the east. And of course, California and Oregon are just absolutely horrible still. You can see there's still a lot of red, even some maroon showing up. And up here in Wyoming, northwest Wyoming, I'll have to investigate what's going on there. Could be a wildfire. I'll investigate that. If I do find anything, I will tweet about it over on Climate Data Report on X. I have been tweeting here a ton lately just simply because of what's going on with Helena. You're going to see me tweeting later on because there's another tropical threat that could enter the Gulf soon. And there's just a lot of things going on around the world right now in the climate. So I've been trying to tweet here more. And who knows? maybe grow this into a credible source all right moving on now philadelphia 753 ems incidents yesterday that is much lower than 800 i'm happy about that finally these levels are starting to drop in philadelphia fingers crossed though fingers crossed i hope that holds let's do a live look in at the surrounding counties of philadelphia in southeast pennsylvania and we can see here Yikes, some not so good calls right now in Montgomery County. Nausea, vomiting, cardiac emergency, respiratory emergency, syncopal episode, seizures, abdominal pain, dizziness, cardiac arrest, respiratory emergency, stroke. And Chester County, last I saw just a little while ago, was really busy. And yeah, wow, it still is. It's really busy in Chester County right now. Heart problems, not one, not two, but three sick person calls. You see an emotional disorder whole bunch of other things and of course there are a lot of ems standbys that's what's making the list look so long and some of that is because of uh fall sports activities that are going on so that's why you see so many of those calls uh hypotension showing up yeah there's definitely calls to be had all right taking a look at what's going on in canada and we saw yesterday on this update that the viral activity level for covid19 was moderate flu a is moderate Flu B, not detected, and RSV is low at this time. 
Alrighty, we have to revisit something from yesterday because CDC has made a change. Remember yesterday during the pandemic update, uh, we went to view the COVID variant nowcast page, and for some reason it went back to the old update. Well, it's back. It came back to the new one, but they changed it a little bit. So here's the updated levels. The KP 3.1.1 variant is at 58.7%. KP 2.3 is at 9.4%. LB.1 is at 7.9%. KP.3 is at 7.1%. Then comes the newer XEC at 6%. Then there's a whole bunch of variants below that, but again, important to note, XEC is 6%. Dominating variant is KP 3.1.1 at 58.7%. All right, let's do the emergency department visits now. Then we will do some uh, notes with some data from various different states. So starting off with the United States, and you can see here, the United States overall nationally, these are people showing up at the emergency room diagnosed with covid uh, nationally, the United States is dropping at this time. Then you see here that Alabama is also dropping at this time. Alaska is dropping at this time. Arizona is uh, seeing a drop at this time. Arkansas and California are seeing a drop for the number of people showing up COVID positive at the emergency department. Colorado is dropping. Connecticut, you are dropping. Then you start seeing a rise again. Now it looks like you may be about to drop again. Delaware was dropping then it rose a little bit again now it's back to dropping once again washington dc is dropping florida is also dropping at this time as is georgia guam is dropping hawaii is dropping idaho is dropping at this time illinois is dropping indiana is dropping and take a look at this iowa is dropping at this time as well kansas kentucky all dropping at this time louisiana is rapidly dropping at this time i'm really happy with this because you are all the way above four percent as was kentucky as well and as you can see louisiana now is down to almost about one percent maine was dropping but now take a look at this kind of just bouncing around off the top actually it went back up a little bit once again not good to see that maryland is dropping massachusetts is dropping michigan dropping at this time and mississippi has rapidly dropped at this time montana you're not really dropping all that much. You're just bouncing around. Nebraska is dropping. Nevada is dropping. You can see New Hampshire, after bouncing around, is now dropping. New Jersey was rising a little bit again. Now there's signs that you may be dropping. New Mexico and New York are dropping. North Carolina is dropping. North Dakota is dropping. Ohio is dropping. Oregon is slowly starting to drop, as is Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is definitely dropping now which indicates Pennsylvania may have peaked, finally, for this wave. Rhode Island is dropping. South Carolina is dropping. South Dakota is dropping. Tennessee is dropping, as is Texas, Utah, and Vermont here. Eh, it w was going up again, then it's starting to drop in. We'll have to see if that actually holds, because Vermont, the numbers coming out of there have been terrible. If you recall, they had nine new deaths this week, which is just absolutely horrible for Vermont, and their cases still remain elevated. So I hope we do see a drop, a continued drop in Vermont and not rising again. Virginia is dropping at this time. Washington State, I mean, you went up this summer, then you dropped slightly, and you're just being very stubborn and slow to drop. West Virginia is dropping. Wisconsin is dropping, and, well, Wyoming has decided not to post anything at all. All right, quickly, let's take a look at what's going on in New Jersey today. We'll see how many hospitals actually reported. And, oh, wow, well, only 16 out of 70 hospitals actually even bothered to report today. All right, let's take a look at some of those notes. This is data provider firm CJS83172. Thank you so much for supplying these comments on my daily updates. So we're going to start off with some daily weekday reporting states then we will do some weekly reporting states you're going to see some numbers here there's still some significant numbers of deaths hospitalizations i would think we're probably headed to add or around another week of yes 1000 deaths all right florida this week 504 new cases this was yesterday 504 new cases and 46 new deaths 
for yesterday and 5,413 cases and 202 deaths over the past seven days. New Jersey, 634 new cases and two new deaths yesterday, 4,023 cases and 16 deaths for the week. New York State added 1,000 595 new cases, this is coming from uh, Thursday, I should say, Ad added to their uh, cases open data portal today, 11,241 cases and 71 deaths for the week. Actually, for New York State, I'm not certain that's actually uh, uh, is from Thursday. Maybe that is from yesterday. But remember, the dashboard for New York State did not update yesterday. Virginia, 398 new cases added today and Wow, 4,056 cases for the week to their open data portal. Puerto Rico, 284 new cases, one new death, and the weekly total for them is 1,673 cases and five deaths over the past seven days. All right, weekly reporting states. Alabama, 31 new CDC reported deaths. California, 5,625 new positive tests and 121 new deaths. That's still a high number. Connecticut, via the CDC, 228 new hospitalizations and five new deaths. Idaho, 572 emergency department visits over the past seven days. Illinois, 372 new CDC reported hospitalizations, including 75 for the week of September 8th through the 14th, and 36 new deaths. Kansas, 13 new CDC reported deaths. Louisiana, 922 new emergency department visits and 11 new deaths. Missouri, 29 new CDC reported deaths for the second consecutive week. Mississippi, 17 new CDC reported deaths. New Hampshire, which like Vermont, a day or two ago added 9 new deaths. A big number for either Upper New England State, and I do agree that is a big number. Pennsylvania, this is still pretty bad. 670 new CDC reported hospitalizations. Ugh ridiculous and 58 new deaths texas 4490 new cases and 55 new deaths wisconsin 17 new deaths west virginia 2015 new positive tests and 24 new cdc reported deaths a wave high and i should note here that for florida that could potentially be an undercount because of what's going on with hurricane helena that may have impacted reporting on the Florida Panhandle, a place like Tallahassee. So maybe we see these numbers come in a little higher with some lag next week. Alrighty, folks, that does it for the Saturday edition of the Pandemic Update. I think we will have our Wastewater Sunday update tomorrow, but I will advise to you if we do not do that. Just uh, pay close attention to my X account. And if I'm not going to do Wastewater tomorrow because I'm not working or whatever the case may be, I will make a tweet about that. Hey, we haven't missed a video since going back to, I believe, March. So if I do miss one day tomorrow, forgive me, but we'll see. I don't think it's going to happen. I think we will do our video tomorrow. So I'll see you all again next time. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. And leave your comments down below. Let me know today. Do you think H5N1 could potentially, at some point, go pandemic status. Do you think it's already human to human? Well, let me know in the comments down below. I'll see you all again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe everyone and have a fantastic Saturday afternoon. Thanks for watching.